Okay, so we're going to use our thumb, right? To move the lower beats to the central bar. Yes, that is called the beam. So for example, number one, we take here one beat and we move to the central bar. Okay, now we're going to use our forefinger, right? We're going to use it to move the lower beats. In this case that we have one, we're going to move the lower beat away from the beam, right? So we do like this. Okay, and in that way, we clear the abacus. We also use the forefinger to move the upper beats to go both towards and away from the beam. For example, if we want to set number five, we're going to use the ones row, yes, and we do like this, yes, with the forefinger. And now, if we want to clear the abacus, we use the same finger, like this. When we have to move the upper beats and the lower beats at the same time, we use these two fingers, the forefinger and the thumb, and the movement is called pinch. So, for example, to set number eight, we use the forefinger to lower the beat and the thumb to move the lower beats up, like this. Eight. Now, if we want to clear the abacus in this position, we are going to use the two fingers at the same time, the forefinger and the thumb, right? And we're going to split the beats, right? This movement is called split. So we do like this. And we clear the abacus using the two fingers, these two fingers. Okay, kids, now we are going to add three plus four, yes? So with our thumb, remember, we move the three lower beats to the central bar, to the beam, right? And we have three. Now, three plus four, as we have enough lower beats to add four, what do we have to do? We have to work with the small friends rules, right? Remember, what is the small friend of four? Is one, okay? So we have to add five and subtract one, okay? At the same time, remember, with the pinch. Yes, and the result is seven. Three plus four, seven, okay. Now, let's add six plus five. Remember, with the pinch, six, okay? Six plus five, as we don't have enough upper bits to add five, what do we have to do? What is the big friend of five? Is five, right? Okay, so we have to subtract five and add 10, good. So what is the result? 11, six plus five equals 11, yes. Now, we're going to subtract, okay? Six minus three, remember, with the pinch, six, okay, minus three, but we don't have enough beads to subtract. What do we do? The small friends rules, right? So what is the small friend of three? Two, right? So remember, we are going to subtract five and add two, right? At the same time, the pinch, okay. And the result is three. Six minus three, three. Okay, now we're going to subtract 11 minus seven, right? So 11, we set the number 11. And as we don't have enough lower bits to subtract, what do we have to do? Yes, we have to do, to use the big friends rules, right? So what is the big friend of seven? Three, yes. So we have to add three and subtract 10, right? We subtract 10 and add three. And the result is four. So 11 minus seven is four. Yes, good job.